one gentleman that you know has has had a very interesting story the past couple of seasons is officially back in the NFL one of the top wide receivers in football you guys know him as Antonio Brown others know him as newly announced uh, wide receiver threat for Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Antonio Brown is back how big is this for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers well, we were talking about Florida teams, and this is a Florida team that's playing very well right now. So um, I think it's huge for them, man. I, I'm on record as saying that I, I thought Antonio would have been a great fit in Seattle or Green Bay with one of those veteran quarterbacks, but he's just as big of a fit in Tampa. Only reason I didn't have Tampa on my list, um, as we've talked about before, is because their head coach had publicly come out and said he doesn't fit our locker room. So that's the only area that I'm a little concerned with because, you know, a head coach to say you don't fit our locker room, but then we sign you now. It's, it's one of those things where it's like, all right, are you fully embracing this or are you doing this because, you know, Tom really wants the guy. Um, but I think on the field, it makes a lot of sense. It's another weapon for Tom. They played together, though, very briefly last year. So they already have a little bit of a connection. And Antonio's a Florida boy, so I'm sure he wanted to stay as close to home as possible. So I'm interested to see how this plays out. He should be making his debut next week, actually. I think it's the latter. Yeah, I'm totally, yeah, I'm totally um, excited to see uh, Antonio Brown on the Bucks. When I heard the news, I was completely shocked. <laughs> you know, it's like another amazing opportunity that landed on Antonio Brown's foot. So the Bucks land themselves another weapon. They got the best receiver. Um, he's a tireless worker, but and he gets a job done. But the thing that he needs to work on is off the sidelines. You know, you know I hope he doesn't blow it again because that'll be that would kind of suck to see. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm glad he's back. Um, you know, I'm always, I'm, I'm always for, you know, he, he, did, he did his time away. He served the suspension. He's eligible, eligible to play now. So, you know, I, I want to see him out there on the field. Eric, I agree with you a thousand percent because, you know, the comments that Bruce Arians made early in the season, but that just goes to show you how much power um, and pull that Tom Brady does have because Tom Brady was talking about wanting Antonio Brown from the beginning of the season. So the fact that he's in Tampa right now uh, doesn't surprise me. Uh, I think it's going to be a huge boost for them because they lost OJ Howard for the season uh, with, a, with a ruptured Achilles. And, um, you know, Mike Evans and, and, and Chris Godwin have both been in and out of the lineup, banged up and hurt. So I think that when you have a security blanket like Antonio Brown, th there's no better security blanket to have, uh, you know, arguably top three receiver before all of the nonsense happened and he had, and he was, um, you know, forced away from the game via suspension, um, you know, but I think it's going to be a big move for, for Tampa Bay. I think this uh, puts the stamp on them d definitely making the playoffs. Um, but I see them at least in the NFC championship game with the Antonio Brown, barring any, any major injuries, um, you know, because now we've seen Gronk start to come on and, and look, you know, not, not like Super Bowl champion Gronk, but starting to, to, to look good. And I think just because they have such a great history between him and Tom Brady, the more time they get together, um, I think that that chemistry is going to get back to normal. And then when you combine Mike Evans and Godwin, who are all pro wide receivers with Antonio Brown, who's another all pro wide receiver, they still have Cam and Braith. They were a team that we expected to go in. It was just going to be a matter of, you know, if they would win the division or if New Orleans would win the division. And right now that's still kind of holding true between those two teams. But uh, I will say that I'm going to hold off on the excitement of anointing them as a Super Bowl team because I still want to see how this plays out. I mean, you can only but have you can only have but so many weapons on the field at one time. And so everyone's not going to get the ball. We know that. And I'm not. Though I expect them to win this week against Vegas. I'm not jumping on a bandwagon as everybody did last week when they beat Green Bay because they beat Green Bay more about their defense than their offense. Their defense has been playing very well, but their offense to me hasn't really clicked yet. And as you said, Mike Evans has been in out the lineup. Leonard Fournette, first couple of weeks, was trying to get acclimated with everything. We got to see how Antonio fits into everything now. So I think there's still a few weeks away before we actually get to see the, the finished version of this Tampa Bay team. So for that reason alone, I'm not putting them as a Super Bowl uh, contender yet. But I do think they are a legitimate playoff team that has a lot of potential if this whole thing clicks. But, you know, we got to see it. And, and, and I'll be the first to admit, too, when we've been in studio, I've been highly critical of Antonio Brown off the field. On the field, I think he's supremely talented. 
as, as CJ mentioned, off the field, he's got to get it together. He's got to make sure he stays out of trouble um, and stays out of the, 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 the news, basically, you know. And during the suspension, he's kind of done that. We, we didn't hear about him. We didn't see any crazy tweets. We didn't see any crazy videos. So I hope that trend continues because we all know how great he is on the field. Yeah, yeah, and all that negativity definitely weighs down on the team, and it definitely affects their performance and all that. Yeah, if, if if he really wants to play, I think he does get it together this time around. Because if you if you come in and mess this thing up, it, it, you know there's a good chance that this will be the last chance that Antonio Brown has, just because. We saw how things ended in Pittsburgh. We saw how things ended with the Raiders. We saw how things ended with the Patriots. So now if you get another chance, we're talking about four chances now, and, you know, you, you come back and, and you mess it up because of off the field stuff, then this could be his last chance. Um, you know, even if, if he comes back and he's not explosive, superstar, all pro talent, Antonio Brown, but keeps his, his head down and stays out of trouble, he'll still be fine. He'll still be able to play in this league, but he has to get his act together. Um, I think that he does want to play. So I, I think that he will. Um, and I think that, you know, the fact that Tom Brady basically, you know, is pulling him back, you know, into, into this uh, temporary organization. I think he does the right thing this time around. And I think that, you know, it, everything works out and I, and I'll, I'll be definitely happy about that. Cause I want to see, see the, see the brothers win. You know what I'm saying? I want to see them do good and, and be able to play the sport that they love and that they're great at. And he is an all time talent. So I really hope that he can get it together. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ. And you're watching Real Fans Real Talk.